I hope the fan isn't too loud. Hi everyone and welcome to another Quick Mighty Ginkgo tutorial. My name is Zero and I'm going to be the one rushing you through this lesson. So pay attention. Alright, so one of the quick things is, what if you have a avatar that is in a non-T pose and you want it to be into a T pose? Like, let's say it's rigged and you're ready to use it and you're like, I want to switch the rest pose from... Uh, a wonky whatever this pose would be considered as an, a very aggressive A pose <laughs> and put it into a T pose so I can use it in Second Life. Now you don't want to do what I used to tell you to do like put it in a T pose and while it's here and then export it then re-rig it because nobody has time for that. So we're going to do the quick way and you're going to be amazed. So let me turn on a display which I have you have and we're going to go on to the first step. So the first step is to put the monster or um, the avatar. I don't think they like being called monster. They have uh, <laughs> what's that word? progressed beyond that. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our avatar into the T pose. Or it can be an A pose as well. It depends on what you want to put your pose in. Technically, Second Life can handle any kind of rest pose these days. But I like to stick my uh, avatars as close to the T pose as I can if it can be helped just so um the animations i don't have to make a custom stand one <laughs> it can work with the default second life stand-in thingy so anyway uh we're going to put this in the t-post so i don't have to do it again i'm gonna come down here at the bottom and i'm gonna copy this and then i'm gonna press this third button and that paste it over to the other side now that only works if your uh things are clearly marked l and r or like shoulder l shoulder right so this is like shoulder left so it just mirrored it over there that way it's in the same pose I just don't have to do it and of course because it's me and I'm blind um, it's not a straight <laughs> so I'm gonna copy and paste it again so that's as close as to T as my blind behind can get it so I'm just gonna put this here and I'm gonna put this right here and now we have our avatar and the T pose. Now, this is where the fun stuff happens. What we need to do next is tell Blender to apply this as the new rest pose. Now, I know a bunch of people tried this before. You know, they clicked on their, uh, their bones and stuff like this. And they went pose and then apply and then as rest pose. And then that happens where your avatar is like, down there but your bones are up there and they like uh alt r alt r go up there mesh and it's not doing it so that's because you actually miss a crucial step so i'm gonna go back a few steps to before i did this and we're, instead of uh you know selecting the bones and pressing reset like uh, apply we're actually going to click on the mesh itself and come over to the modifier tab now we're going to come down to the modifier tab and there should be, uh, uh, what do you call this, an armature applier applied to the skeleton. Armature applier means that it's rigged to the skeleton. So what we need to do is press copy and laugh at that for a second. <laughs> and then after we press copy, you're going to hit apply on the first uh, modifier, um, the first panel that's here and then hit apply now it may look funny you're still in the um this pose but don't worry you're it's almost done now what we need to do is click on the bones and we're going to go back to pose mode and we're going to hit this button here that says apply and then apply the rest pose and now you see when we move the arms and stuff oops when we move the arms and whatever and we press alt a and alt r it goes back into the t pose now you can do this with anything that you want you can actually do it in reverse and uh turn your t pose into an a pose by doing the exact same thing just pose it uh pose the avatar click on the avatar go to the modifier tab press copy then click on the bones then go to pose and then hit apply, apply pose as rest pose. And, oh, wait, wait, I forgot to step. <laughs> um, go back into that cool voice. When you go back in the modifier, we're going to hit apply first. Then we click on the bones. And then we go to apply uh, 
posed as rest pose and now you see uh, our monster is now in the T pose I mean the A pose so that's how you can quickly switch your stuff over and um, you know go from A to T to anything else so I hope this helped you out this was a quick tutorial or as fast as I could do one <laughs> I'll see you guys in our next hopefully full tutorial on the Mighty Ginkgo see you later guys good luck <laughs>